Yeah, I'm a sexuality educator and trainer, and I have been doing that work for over 25 years. And uh, one population that I specialize in is sexuality and disability. Yeah, so the breakout session is called uh, Becoming a Sexual Self-Advocate. And uh, what I found in my work is that oftentimes people with disabilities aren't thought of as sexual beings. Um, and so this workshop is really designed to talk about, well, what is, we know this idea of self-advocacy, of speaking up for yourself, uh, making decisions about your life, solving your problems. But then when we add sexual self-advocacy, uh, what self-advocates tell me is it's, it's more complicated. Um, it's not as easy to be a sexual self-advocate as a self-advocate. Sexual self-advocacy is has two parts. One is speaking up for your right to learn about this topic, to be in relationship, to have privacy. And then the second part is, well, how do you speak up in a relationship? If you are with a partner, how do you speak up?